that's not the part that would fail, but uh, it's fine. Okay, a crafting upgrade. Did I forget to give the Kate guy a crafting upgrade? Let me check that real quick. Yes, I did. And it looks like you're out of cake too. So, makes me wonder now if uh, you're actually off or something. Maybe you just had a, a, out of cake. No, you got cake. All right. Okay. You're not supposed to be off though. You're supposed to be on. I changed you, didn't I? Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, this is still fine. It's still what it's supposed to do. Um, okay, so I guess uh, Phantom Face it is. So, let's try that again. Okay, so... Uh, I want down, please. I want this, please. Can I have it? Thank you. Okay, so. Phantom Face. Phantom Face Connector. Shift right click. Shift right click. Cool. Let's get all these things out of there. All right, let's dump these back in the system where they belong, I think, mostly. Yeah, that all looks fine. Okay, so let's try it again. I still think it's gonna fail, but let's try it again. Okay, uh, Kekamiris. It's being picked up by the collector. Everything else went in, though. You know, there's, um, no real reason why it has to be over here if it's automated. I mean, it could be anywhere. If the only problem is we couldn't place that rune, then we could simply move this guy away from here. Well, I could put him back where he was, and that could be okay. If I can't use the item guy on you, can you have items piped into you? It didn't seem like you could, but... It's worth checking. Uh, let's get a chest real quick. And let's get an item conduit. And let's just see if items can be piped into you. I mean, these things connect, but I don't really believe that they can, you know, put things in you. No. I'm thinking you have to be dropped into. The other thing that I could think that could possibly work would be if you couldn't have them dumped on your your on the bottom part of you. So where is that mechanical user? It's possible you have to be on a side. Okay. Mm, starting to think this is a no. Okay, that's become pretty clear. No. All right. Well, uh, 
tested all of those possibilities, so that's all a no. So it's got to be dropped from open crate or something that would drop it automatically. Um, hmm. Okay, what's in that? What's in the After Editions book? Is it possible that there's something that I haven't considered? Like uh, that we can do something to make you not take stuff from me? Uh, let's see here. Breakers and placers, the dropper. Let's see here. Uh, drop it straight down. I really find it hard way that's going to work. But there's, I mean, hey, I even have one. You know what? There's no harm in trying it, I guess. No harm at all. So I need a pickaxe for you. No, I need an axe for you. All right. Did you fall in there? Get out of there. And let's try the automatic precision dropper. Let's rotate you down. Okay, so let's put some stuff back in the system. Mm, yeah, that looks all pretty good. Let's try making one of those Hecamiras one more time. No, it is instant. Okay, well, I didn't have high hopes for that, but, you know, I felt it was worth a try. So, let's go ahead and move you. Let's say that's not going to work. So, let's take you somewhere else. So, let's get rid of this guy. And uh, these are still fine. So yeah, we're going to break this guy. Going to get the Yetta wrench and the axe. Okay. So that will leave us space for, you know, another one for this guy. It's fine. So what if we just put it right back here? Where's the nearest that my system comes up at over here? Thinking it doesn't matter. I can put this guy anywhere as long as the fan hector is close by. I still plan to use that. All right. Um, you're going away now. I want to put you and I want to put you down. And I want to get the open crate. I don't want the precision dropper. Okay. So I know system is down in here somewhere. There we go. Okay. So here's a crafter. And here's a chest. And let's rotate the crafter dude. Okay. Let's put that Hecamiras pattern in there. Mm, I don't see it. Yep, you must have got stuck there. Okay. Okay, so... We're going to need a phantom face. And we're going to connect it. We're going to say you goes to you. And we're going to get some item conduits for like the 45th time. Okay. You are an insert. You are an extract. Always active. Okay. We'll pipe things into the open crate. So the last step is to get a ranged collector.
actually, I'm going to use a hopper hawk for this. Because that seems like a more Batania way to do this. So let's get an Ender Chest. And let's get a Hopper Hawk. Hey, cool, I even have one. Okay, so now when I drop these things, they should go into here. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking this should all work. Let's see what happens. Kick a mirror me, please. I'm pretty sure that worked. Let's cancel all the ones that didn't work. Oh, I guess I already canceled you. I don't know. Hey, you know what? That worked. Well, there we go. That, I think, is all of Batania automated. I mean, there's a lot more runes to do, but I mean, this is just, you know, adding more stuff to the system. So, hey. I got you, buddy. Okay. You have stuff. You're connected to that guy. Yeah. So I think we definitely need more of these guys. Let me put some dirt over there. And actually, before... Uh, nope, I don't need to do that. I can get him from the Crafter Manager. Yeah. So let's tell it how to make a Solignolia. So, uh, you're the wrong one. I know I already have one, but I want to teach it to make more. So, there you go. And seeds. And I believe the seeds just kind of sit out there and wait until they're, you know, they can fall in. So I believe this will work. Let's find out. Do I have anywhere for this guy to be? Mm, not really. But I don't care about this guy being on this side anymore. I did when I was, oh, I guess I kind of do, don't I? Because that guy is right there. Okay, I didn't think I cared about that. Let me get that, that stone that the, the thing stole. Mm, your tiles, I don't want tiles. I want, I want, is it wide bricks? Yeah, that's right. Where can I put this guy? You know what? Why not just sit him right in front? I'm not going to come back out here anymore. All right. So, let's put the ring on. Uh, don't need any of you. Give me a Solignolia, please. Oh, I don't want to... No, I don't need the recipe. I know the recipe. That's Solignolia. Cool, that works. Uh, let's get one more Kekamiris. It's got to make um, a Rune of Winter, but uh, no, it's got, I just have to make a Rune of Gluttony. That's all it's being consumed here, I think. So, yeah. So, it's going to make this Rune of Gluttony. I don't know if I have the Man Diamonds or not, or I've had to make those, but either way, Whatever. We will make more Kekamiris, obviously. But uh, I want to speed up that Elven Mana Spreader, too. I want to get him some kind of lens to help out. While we're waiting, let's look at that. I want to know what kind of lenses are available. Um, that didn't look right. Hmm. That doesn't seem right either. 
mana lens. There we go. Uh, you can apply lenses. Okay, that's cool. Yep. Okay, fancy colors are nice. Yeah. Double the amount of mana a burst can carry. Okay, that might be what I want. Hmm. Okay. Well, I'm thinking a potency lens what I want. Yeah, let's let's look into one of those. A potency lens. Okay, you need a rune of fire and a mana lens, huh? By the way, did you get me my flower? I wasn't even looking. Of course you did. Uh, auto crafting is awesome. Now, um, yeah, I mean, he should stop when he's done. He's not going to be done for a while because he's got to fill, you know, three pools. Realistically, he needs to fill four. He's got to fill this guy too. Do we have any more sparks? Yeah, here's a spark. You know what? You got to fill that guy too. I know we don't have anything for you yet, but uh, it's part of your job. Go for that guy, too. Okay. Uh, we have to be careful and watch this mana lens because uh, he might get overwhelmed with, with Kekamiris. Where's this guy? We might already be at that point. Let's make some of those potency lenses. Let's get him a potency lens first. Uh, this guy's draining, this guy's draining, this guy is maxed out. So I'm thinking we are not handling the mana well. Yeah. Okay, so how about a lens? There we go, a mana lens. And then I want a potency lens. Doesn't even consume your runes. That's cool. So all we got to do, dump you on here. Still have one guy just completely full over here. Oh, you're, you're, you're draining now. You're draining. Is this working? I think with potency, it is keeping up. But three is definitely the max for what we can put over here. So, makes me somewhat question my setup. I was going to put eight of these guys over here. But now I'm wondering, you know, if that's what I want. They may need to be set back farther so they can all, you know, like aim... Like one, two, and three or something. But yeah, this is basically working. All right, let's get you a potency lens. What are my other kinds? You can combine two of them as well. So let's see here. What else? What are our options here? Wow, there's so many. Okay. Maybe a velocity, a velocity potency lens? Hmm. Yeah, let's make a velocity potency lens. So how do you combine lenses? I can't remember how to do that. My God, there's so many. Hmm. How do you combine a lens? I know there are ways to make two lenses. Okay, let's see here.
Hmm. No, I don't know how to do that just yet. Well, I'll go figure that out and make one of those, and we'll come back and test it. Let me go look that up real quick and see what I can find out. All right, that's a good wrapping up point for today's episode. Thanks for watching. And here's a sneak preview of what the finished Batania area will look like. See you next time.